Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the most forgotten decks in the game, and that is Water Decks, baby. Do you guys know what Diva? DMC Diva is an FTK. I'm going to show you guys exactly why. If you guys are ready for the video, smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers. And don't forget that for the next two weeks only, your boy's doing one on one coaching, baby. If you guys want to get coached by the Pengon, check out the PayPal link down below. And also, take advantage of the sale while it lasts, boys. Take advantage of the sale while it lasts. Claw play mats only for $30. Check out Tripping.com. With that being said, let's go. It is time for Moon Iglesia to discard some cards out of our opponent's hand. Let's go, boys. It's water time. <laughs> Atlanteans are one of the most underrated decks right now in this format because they can play Needle Fiber decks and Verde decks and use the whole Needle Fiber Verde combo uh, for Dragoon better than any deck whatsoever. Uh, typically, obviously, you're going to have four other cards in hand. And with the addition of Minstrel and different extenders, Deep Sea Diva, Atlantean Prince, this deck plays through hand traps like nothing. So, at this point, if you were to open Prince, it's hand trap proof. If they hand trap uh, the Prince, Dragoon still resolves and you still get your Fiber out. And what one Deep Sea Diva could do is just insane. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. At this point, use Minstrel and Dragoon to look at your opponent's hand to get rid of the Nibiru, the Veiler, any... You don't even care if they have Veiler. You just get rid of the Nibiru, anything of that sort. Once you get rid of the Nibiru, I know that you're, you're safe to play your turn. Uh, the Dragoon will trigger getting Mulan Glacia. This is where you get go for Needle Fiber, and then you drop Mulan Glacia. So at this point, one Deep Sea Diva, and you're discarding two cards from their hand, and you know their entire hand. Now they're going to have hand knowledge is massive. It's the reason why Inferno Bulls are doing so good right now. So your opponent is going to have four cards left in hand. You know three of the four, okay? And you're going to uh, go for Link Ross here. You're going to go Marcher. You're going to go Herald. And you're going to end on Dragoon and Herald. After This is a one Deep Sea Diva. One Deep Sea Diva discards two cards from your opponent's hand. Gives you hand knowledge in your opponent's entire hand. Dragoon ends on a Dragoon and ends on a Herald. Not including the actual other four cards that you're going to draw in your opening hand. So here we open a hand trap, two hand traps. So imagine opening Impermanent Ash and then having Deep Sea Diva with an extender of Unexpected Die. So you, could, uh, you Unexpected Die first, obviously, and then you go for the Diva. So if they hand trap the Diva, you can still make Needle Fiber after that. So the, the deck's insane. You have so many starters in the deck. Genix Undyne is also the same end board, except no Mool and Glacia. If you open Undyne and Dragoon, then you can end on the Mool and Glacia. So, uh, Dragoon and Minstrel as well. Or if you open Minstrel, you play three Minstrel, three Dragoon. So, if you were to open Dragoon or Minstrel with the Undyne, you could still end on the combo. It, it just, it's just crazy. This deck is, this deck's insane. You play different water extenders as well, like the Tiny Water Spirit. And it just, I, I'm a huge fan of this deck. Unexpected Die brings a Genesis Controller. Obviously, Undyne and, un, and, un, and, and Unexpected Die are not good to draw together. But you had Diva in our hand too, so it just didn't matter. This, this deck's insane. So that's a combo tutorial here. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to show you guys a deck profile as well. Then I'm going to show you guys a deck profile. If you guys want to see duels with this deck, as always, we showcase duels on Patreon with the deck we talk about on YouTube on the same day. So let's go straight to the deck profile. This is the deck profile. There's simply one game plan in mind here. You back up your Dragoon and Herald and Mulan Glacier with 11 hand traps. So you're playing a bunch of hand traps. Post side deck, you're, you're siding in seven more. So post side deck, you have 18 hand traps. And you are, it's, it's just a one, deck with one card combos. You have nine one card, ten one card combos with the triple diva, triple print, triple undyne, and one for one. All ten end on the board of Dragoon and Herald. And opening the uh, cards of Dragoon and Minstrel help you extend through the hand traps of diva, prince, and undyne. If someone were to hand trap any of them. And also the unexpected die and Shatana also help you play through hand traps. And the fact that they're, that Shatana is water, it comes up a lot. Because it allows you to play through to allow you to move in Glacia at times where it seems like you can't. Uh, opening Shatana and Undyne also ends on Mulan Glacia without the thing. So it's good to open all these extenders as well. In terms of brick, the only actual brick you could say, you're playing Plague Spreader. So if you hard draw Red Eyes and Dark Magician or Fusion, you simply just use Plague Spreader to put it back. And it's really cool how we do it. So Triple Diva, Triple Prince, Triple Undyne. One one for one, triple dragoon, triple minstrel, one lapis dragon, which is how all these cards become the uh, needle fiber, Mulan Glacia, one plague spreader, Genesis controller, triple unexpected die for the uh, Genesis controller. 
uh, the math of opening unexpected die and Genesis controller aren't that high. Uh, if you did open the undying and uh, unexpected die, it's literally still needle fiber. All you do is activate unexpected die, special Genesis controller, normal seven undying. You still get your needle fiber, so it's even not a brick to be honest. So it just doesn't matter. Uh, and then triple shatana, which is a water extender. Uh, also, a cool thing is because uh, it says if you control no effect monsters, you can special summon this card. So, Shatana and Unexpected Die work really well together because if you go Unexpected Die to Special Genesis Controller, Genesis Controller is a non effect monster. Hence, you can summon Shatana right after that. So, Unexpected Die and Shatana do not conflict. Uh, and then you go Dark Magician Red Eyes, Red Eyes Fusion. If you were to hard draw any of these, you Plague Spreader back. Uh, and then you play 11 Hand Traps. Uh, side deck, we play Double Meister, Triple Crow, Double uh, Mourner. One marksman, one infantry. You put in marksman infantry for going second, depending on the deck that you face. And then triple lightning start double evenly and feather duster for back row decks. The extra deck is very simple and cool. So the idea behind this deck is that you want to put up the Dragoon and Herald every single turn. And it's just that simple. You go for Dragoon and you go for Herald, and that's it. You do that's it. That's literally it. With the Mullen Glacier. After that, there's no reason to complicate things to play mermails and stuff like that. There's just no reason to whatsoever. The goal is just Dragoon Herald Mullen Glacier and Hand Trap is game. Even Dragoon Herald Mullen Glacier is game, but you play 11 Hand Traps, so you don't have to open one. Dragoon Herald Mullen Glacier is game. If you don't open Mullen Glacier, Dragoon Herald and Double Hand Trap is game. Dragoon Herald and one Hand Trap is still game. So that's the whole idea behind this, uh, and and it's uh, it's really good and consistent. That's what I like about it. You play double of each because once you put up your turn one, you turn you put up a turn one of the Fiber, Link Cross, Marcher, Herald, Verde combo. Then on turn two, you also want to ensure you can do the exact same thing. So turn two, you do the exact same combo of Needle Fiber, Link Cross, Marcher, Herald. And then the last one that comes out uh, is uh, you save the Veiler and then you bring out Selene and Access Code. Because when Marcher brings out the, Her the Veiler from the graveyard, the idea here also you want to go for Needle Fiber to bring out the Veiler going second. Because you go for Selene Axis Code, but going first you go Selene Marcher Herald. And one thing to note is you play two Verde Anaconda specifically. Because since this is a Verde Anaconda deck, this deck is re uh, reliant on the Verde. You want to play around Nibiru as much as you can. So if you go on, uh, put up Verde, they could uh, have Nibiru right there. I also played Double Red Eyes Fusion for a long time. Because you're playing a lot of Hand Traps. Uh, if they, you know, activating Red Eyes Fusion and Hand Traps is also a good hand. Uh, Dragoon and Hand Traps are still game. Uh, play Dragoon Control at that point. But also, if they were to Hand Trap the Verde, you want to make sure you have a second Verde. Or a second Red Eyes Fusion. And there's nothing else you need in the extra deck whatsoever. You can take this out if you want for the Link to the Specials back. The Princess. That's also a good one. It's also good to play if you want to. But it really just doesn't come up. Uh, it, it, does, it seems like it would in playing a Water deck. But you're not really playing a Water deck here. You're playing a Verde and a kind of Control. That focuses on Needle Fiber. And allows it 10 cards in your deck to equal Moulin Glacier as well. So that's just the whole idea behind it. Uh, we'll put this in anyways. You don't really need the other Verde Anaconda. It's just different ideas you could possibly play. One Link Karibo is needed. It allows you to uh, do cool ways to get uh, cards in Graveyard to be able to Moulin Glacier. So the one Link Karibo is, is very helpful to ensure you could get Moulin Glacier out. And Link Spider is there for when you get uh, nibiru So when you get nibiru it's actually pretty cool. So when you go before the Herald, they're going to Nibiru before the Herald 100%. So when they Nibiru before the Herald... You go into Link's, uh, the, the Link Spider with the token, and then you use Plague Spreader Effect to make Verde Anaconda. So you can still at the very least make a Verde Anaconda through Nibiru. Selene and Axis Code is for the OTK that we talked about, and now the new addition is the one uh, Marantz's Coral, which just will allow you to special back a water from your graveyard. It doesn't come up often. Uh, it actually never came up for me once, but you could definitely see the practicality of it, uh, summoning back Prince and using Prince Effect. But at that point, uh, just really not that necessary to be honest with you guys you can also play a nightmare unicorn if you want which unicorn might be the better call because sometimes going second you will not have access your needle fiber can get hand trapped so if your needle fiber gets hand trapped going second you can simply just go into a nightmare unicorn send out another interruption and then go access code and pop the rest uh so that's all idea behind the deck if you guys want to see more about this deck in in real duels or against the meta Check out the Patreon down below, where every single video, every YouTube video actually, we're going to be showcasing duels with all these different decks against meta decks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, take advantage of our last boys. We got down below in the description, 5% off Yu-Gi-Oh cards and 10% uh, off mats. So go check it out. Utilize the discount while you can. 
Also, lastly, is if you guys want any pendulum training or even general Yu-Gi-Oh training, I'm well-versed in the entire meta. We offer uh, trip gaming training, Pengon training, baby, uh, for $30, two, two hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching on Discord, uh, just specifically one-on-one, -on -one, and we focus on any deck you want, and we make that deck sick. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah,